Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sigai, board certified dermatologist. I'm here in Cleelum, Washington at the beautiful Suncadia Resort, vacation with my family. And we're having a good time, but while I'm taking a break and the kids are taking a nap, I'm gonna review two very popular sunscreens. Supergroup's Unseen Sunscreen, wildly popular. I think it's their best seller. And it's SPF 40, is my wife's favorite pick of the summer 2021. And this is Kroger Brands Sunscreen Invisible Gel SPF 40. Does this live up to the claim that it's the dupe of Supergroup's Unseen Sunscreen? Let's compare the two and find out. Let's see how it feels. Let's talk about the ingredients. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm back home. I couldn't finish the video in Cleelum. We had too much fun at the resort. So um, I'm back home in my bedroom. Sorry, the production value is considered low to some people, but you know what? I just like talking casually with all of you uh, about skincare, dermatology, and the comfort of my own home, especially as my kids take a nap. Uh, this is when dad has time to do these videos, uh, especially since I have a, a very busy clinic job and I'm having a great time meeting a lot of you in person. So thank you for finding me here on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Great to meet you all. But anyways, let's talk about the gold standard, the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, SPF 40 PA3+. So SPF is going to be related to the UVB protection and we want an SPF 30 and above. This is SPF 40 and the PA3 plus, it goes up to four plus max. Three is a good rating and that's related to the UVA coverage and UVA also contributes to skin cancer like UVB, but also to the aging process. It goes deeper into the skin down to the collagen, really mess things up and can activate your collagenase. There's those enzymes that will chew up your collagen. So I like one with good UVA coverage and this has four UV blockers or filters and it's avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. Now those four will work together in blocking UVA and UVB. This one does not uh, have any type of uh, iron oxides. This is not a tinted sunscreen, but it is meant to just blend into your skin and just absorb really fast while giving yourself uh, adequate coverage while being a water resistant sunscreen of 40 minutes. Now again, this is 1.7 fluid ounces for $40. So let's put this on my skin. This is my wife's new favorite sunscreen. She wishes all sunscreens were like this. So let's just put a little dime size, large pea size amount on the face here. Just see how that spreads. should be putting a half teaspoon amount on your face and neck. Don't forget your ears, but I'm just showing you how well this blends in. Oh, I'm putting it over other another sunscreen and it is pilling the other sunscreen. So just keep that in mind actually. Wow, this is the first time I've had this issue. Ugh. So just um, this is probably a great sunscreen to put on first after you do your serums and such, but if you layer this over sunscreen, this could pill. And wow, I'm putting this over my morning sunscreen and it is pilling. So uh, keep that in mind that this is, um, you know what, let me just wash this off and give it a good go here. Sorry guys. Okay, so I just cleansed my face really quickly and let's try this again. Unseen sunscreen, not the glow screen. We'll talk about this later, but I got the unseen here. Let's get that pea size amount or large pea size amount. Let's try this again. Translucent, a little waxy, very interesting texture. It's not like your normal sunscreen cream and kind of has like a petroleum jelly smell to it. And there you go, voila. Just kind of a little shine to your skin, but not too bad. So it's non-irritating, great for the eyelid, vegan, no synthetic fragrance. A little does go a long way. They do say a, a dime size amount is what you need uh, for your face. Uh, I would be careful with maybe applying, making sure to apply more, but probably a good sunscreen to put on to start your day and not so much one to layer, just as you could see that it does pill a little bit, okay? So now let's go with the other one, the Kroger sunscreen invisible gel here. This one is much bigger, three fluid ounces for $10. And it this is water resistant as well, but 80 minutes. So double the grade of water resistance if you're gonna be swimming or 
jumping in the pool, exercising, water resistant sunscreen is your, your preferred uh, sunscreen. And this one is SPF 40 as well. It has the same UV blockers with different concentrations. So this one's avobenzone 3%, which is the same as this. Homosalate 11% versus 8% here. Octosalate's 5%, which is the same. Octocrylene, much higher uh, percentage, 10% uh, versus 4% and really compare the two. Let me look at the, the ingredients first. So we have dimethicone in both, has orange peel oil, which is not in this. So we have uh, the citrus oil, the citrus oil uh, in this. This has vitamin E, mineral oil, aloe. This one does not have aloe and it does not have the uh, mineral oil. Jojoba esters, shea butter, and that Boswellia Serrata resin extract, which it ha does have antioxidant properties. Or does this have the Boswellia? This has the shea butter. So not completely the same. This doesn't have that Boswellia extract. So a few things that are jumping out here that this has aloe, but no Boswellia resin extract. So let's try to put this bad boy on here. Oh, very different in color here. It doesn't have that translucent kind of cloudy look this is like coming out pure orange so let me try and squirt them out on two different fingertips to show you the difference in color very different in color i remember i had to shake this one up earlier uh i had to shake the kroger brand up earlier because when you if you don't shake it very well, like I had to shake it for a good 60 seconds to get rid of this greasy residue or this greasy oil that was coming out and for it to really distribute well, I had to shake it well because otherwise you would have partial solid cream and also some liquid coming out. So it's kind of gross and a little messy. So it's coming out as in its true form here, this kind of peach colored orange look to it. Maybe this is the, the orange peel or Smell wise, I don't smell anything. Not much going on, maybe a slight citrus scent, but not much going on. So let me just wipe away that uh, unseen by Supergoop first. Blends in very quickly. Now on the lower half of my back of my hand, going on, I can already tell it's much thicker. It's not disappearing as fast and definitely more of a greasy finish to it. So it's not a good start here. As soon as I open up the bottle, I'm a little afraid to put this on my face. I think this could be a little too oily and I'm afraid it could be, oh, there you go. So when I start taking it out, it starts getting at the bottom of my finger, it started to have this almost oily component to it where it doesn't it separates, the liquid separates from the cream part, so it's just not incorporated very well. So let's just put a small amount, oh, it's heavy. It's, this is heavy. Putting pure Vaseline on your face is feeling. So it's soothing if you have irritated skin. Oh, here's the pilling. I didn't wash this side of my face well. So this one also doesn't layer very well either over sunscreen. Oh, yeah, I really don't like this one. This feels very heavy and greasy. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend this one for sure. Uh, I think this is a clear win that I would pay the extra money for the unseen. So if my wife wants to restock on the on her favorite sunscreen, I'll probably dish out the extra money to do the super goop unseen here. I just really, oh, I want to wash this bad boy off here because it's just like really heavy. So, you know, this is a nice tale of you get what you pay for. And uh, it's a clear winner that the Unseen is superior. I know a lot of people commented on my TikTok when I talked about the Unseen that the, uh, the Kroger is a worthy duplicate. I would have to respectfully disagree, but we're all subjective. You might have had a better, uh, you know, a better experience with this. But, um, you know, what? maybe I'll just try after this video to wash my face and apply it again. But I still just, I can feel, as soon as you put it on the back of, the, back of my, my clean hand, you can really feel how thick it is and how occlusive it is. And um, yeah, I just have to say that 
Uh, it is probably nice and soothing if you have irritated skin. It's like putting Vaseline on your skin. So it's pretty cool. It is an SPF, uh, you know, that's in the form of a Vaseline-like uh, product, but not for me. I'd rather uh, stick with the creams that I'm used to. Uh, this is probably fine uh, for those with sensitive skin though, you know, especially for the eyelids probably won't cause irritation. This is water resistant, it is affordable. So if you're in a pinch, you could apply this. But if you have acne prone skin, really oily skin, you might wanna avoid this one because it probably is occlusive. Yeah, I just don't like the way this feels on my face. It just feels really thick, greasy. Uh, I probably don't wanna wear something like this before a run because it just would feel too thick. I don't wanna put just a layer of Vaseline on my face before going for a run. Uh, outside so I would say that I would rather apply the unseen sunscreen by Supergoop. my wife agrees I did a blind test on her and she could tell this was the more superior and expensive one uh, I just say this is a clear winner it doesn't have that greasy resin it doesn't have that thick feeling but it also doesn't separate into like a, li a liquidy oil um, when you squirt it on your finger it can get pretty messy if that liquid drips down and like gets all over the place so that has happened shake that one well and maybe you could kind of incorporate the two but you know each time you you apply it you should you should definitely shake it for uh, maybe even more than 10 seconds because it's it was real for me how gross it was dripping with this liquid it's oily liquid so uh, this one is $40 the other one was $10 you get more for your money with that one but I wouldn't use it uh, for myself personally. Good job, Supergoop, the unseen. This is the clear winner for myself and for my wife. We both agree that one's the clear winner. Please leave a comment down below if you do find uh, success or benefit by using the Kroger brand, not just for your wallet, but also your skin. You know, for people with acne prone skin or acne, I don't say avoid, you know, ointments because you could still do okay with them, but you don't want to overdo it. If you have act active acne, putting oil over it could really keep all that trapped debris inflammatory food for the bacteria to feed it and when it's trapped in there it can really cause havoc and go down deep down into the follicular unit and cause cystic acne so be careful with these things um, i'm going to do another video on the other super group sunscreens their physical one their glow screen is uh also very popular i'll talk about this one as well in addition to the physical sunscreen by Supergoop. So I hope this video is helpful, guys. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Thanks for your support on TikTok too. I'm verified there, so thank you so much. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys for the next video. All right, peace.